I think it was just once we had all committed to the idea, it didn't seem difficult. It just required a lot of patience, a lot of you just give yourself over to the idea and admit it's going to be that long till we have a you know final result. But then that's fine. But then just enjoy the process and just do one thing at a time just it's again like all of our lives we might have something we're aiming for but we're living our lives day to day so it felt no different than just you know one thing after another a lot i mean it's it's i mean you know it, it's mostly just kind of situational things you know social dynamics and just there's very little that's like directed. We didn't take any like, you know, things that happened to me and put them in the movie. But but certainly, I mean, there was always kind of you know, Rick would ask you know, tell me what Mason was going through and kind of compare that to what I was going through and and you know, use my experiences and my kind of perspective to flesh out the character. So by the end, there's definitely you know, <laughs> it's it's more or less me. <laughs> that's him up on the mountain. I, li I like to think. Where at the beginning, that's not really him at all. The whole project was designed to incorporate the little changes we all go through. Um, not just Lorelai and Eller, who were growing up, but even Patricia and Ethan, who are just, you know, getting one year older. And, you know, it's very, life's very different at, you know, 30 than it is at 40, you know. So it, it incorporated a lot of their own growth. So um, it was designed to incorporate that and my own thinking I did I'm not set I'm gonna feel differently about this eight years from now So I look forward to how I'm feeling then that I can't say now so yeah. It's totally unique most films you don't get to work this way Probably the last one I mean that yeah that final scene was was very bittersweet and just, I mean, beautiful. It was, I mean, it was, it was beautiful filming it out there, you know, yeah. and that kind of, as Mason is kind of struggling to, you know, experience whatever he's doing, it's like I was also, I was, you know, coming to the, realizing that this project that had become very dear to me was coming to an end and kind of struggling to experience that and appreciate what I had just done, so. Yeah, it's, it's funny, he's at a new phase of his life where he's an adult now and he's looking to his future, but something was ending. And that's, that is a bittersweet moment in all of our lives. You realize, oh, I'm at a new place. I can't go back. And it's funny that that realization comes right at, you know, that's kind of the end of the movie too, but it's really the beginning of his mature life. So that's how life is, I guess. Well, I, I think the film demands that you kind of study the little moments of life, these intimate moments, if you're going to pay attention to that. So I think there's, I don't know if there's a single message, but it's just kind of appreciate those moments, I hope, you know, that it is your life going by and time is kind of fleeting. And 12 years really goes by rather quickly. The older, the older you get, time moves quicker, too, so... Just be aware of it at least. I don't know. Eller might have a different. I don't know. Do you have a different take on? No, I agree. The younger part. I yeah. agree. I don't know. I, I think of time and cinema as very similar. You know, time is the building block. It is what cinema is. So storytelling wise, I've always believed in like structure more than plot. I think, and time is a very specific structural device of how we perceive the world and ourselves in it and time in general. So I think a lot of my stories do find their structure and their meaning within, um, within time elements. So often it's limited time. Some of my movies have been actual real time, you know, 80 minutes of real time. So it it's must be how I think. I don't know. I don't think that much about it, but it must be how my storytelling mind works. So it's where an idea like this could come from. But it feels like in the cinema world that there's a lot of room for exploration still in this, in this area. That's where I've always been excited about film 
because I felt there was different ways to tell stories that I was trying to express things that I had to create a f new form to tell it in. So that's what I've been lucky to do a few times, I think, yeah.